from your weather authority. Here's Dr. Athena Masson, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. I understand your confusion because I myself am very confused. We are in December. Last time I checked the calendar, temperatures not quite agreeing with us. Almost to 90 degrees. That sets a new record high temperature for today. Previous record now set back in 2010, 86 degrees. We should be almost 30 degrees lower for this time of the year. But many of us took the opportunity to enjoy the weekend. Checking out this lovely photo sent in by Blanca of the Rudolph Run that took place in downtown San Angelo by the Concho River today. Lots of fun there. You didn't need a jacket at all, but definitely we're seeking out the water bottles. And then check out these beautiful sunsets that were taken across the Concho Valley today. Thank you to Dennis, Tim, Sherry, Patty, and Marquita. Head on over over to ConchoValleyHomepage.com to get a better view of these masterpieces and continue to share those viewer images with us. We love to share them. Taking a look out to the west, a beautiful night, but temperatures plummeting now thanks to that powerful cold front moving through the area at this hour. Temperature 46 degrees right now, and those winds now shifting from the northeast, gusting to 14 miles per hour. Temperatures across the Concho Valley into the 40s we go for our northern counties. 44 out towards Sterling City, 42 in Robert Lee, 45 Ballinger at this hour. Still trying to maintain those 50s for our southern counties. 55 in Mason, hot spot Sonora at 56 degrees. Then outwards towards the west, 52 in Ozona, 50 degrees. Keep holding on to those 50s because pretty soon every one of us going down into the 40s and possibly the 30s. Take a look at your wind speeds across the Concho Valley. About 10 to 15 miles per hour starting to gust because of that powerful cold front pushing through the Concho Valley. Most of these now shifting from the northeast. Calmer conditions, Mason and Sonora, but they will start to pick up within the next couple of hours. Texas satellite and radar. There's that cold front that is pushing into the Concho Valley at this hour. This will continue to move southward and then towards tomorrow, starting to move eastward. And right to the north, next high pressure will be incoming into the state of Texas by tomorrow, setting itself up for the next few days. Sunshine will continue, but those cold temperatures continue. Let's play it out here on your upper level weather pattern. There's this low pressure system. That trough continues to dig into the state of Texas and into the Concho Valley. That cool air continues to stay with us, not only for Monday, but into Tuesday and all the way throughout the rest of the week. Just behind it, though, this ridge of high pressure begins to set up by Wednesday. Now, that will deliver more sunshine to the Concho Valley. Not so much warm temperatures, just starting to help it rise ever so slightly. Not by a lot, though. Monday, that cold front continues to move through our southern counties, only rising to 55 degrees. Now it's Tuesday. Grab the jackets. Only 49 degrees for our high temperature. And then a slow increase upwards by Friday. Near average temperatures for this time of the year, about 64 degrees. Forecast for tonight, mostly clear, but a rapid cool down taking place. 36 degrees for your low temperature. And then tomorrow, say goodbye to the 80s and hello to the 50s. 55 degrees, much cooler, but remember to grab that jacket, especially if you are heading out to work and to catch the school bus. Seven day forecast, the sunshine continues to stick around 55 degrees and then the coldest day possibly on Tuesday at 49. Very slow increase upwards, hopefully back to the 70s by next weekend. All right, I am joined by Ryan because I am so proud of him. He knows the answer to this, but Victor, I need to know your answer first. What is the name of this type of cloud? Um. An um cloud? Mm, yes. An um cloud. A strato strato alto um cloudulus. <laughs> okay, we're going to add that to the dictionary. Ryan, take it away. Well, I'm, I'm actually really glad to be on this one. I took a weather and climate class at my time at Sam Houston State University in Athena. That is a mammatus cloud, a signal of severe weather. Yes, round of applause to Ryan. That is a mammata cloud, in ma meaning mammary cloud. It is a cellular pattern of pouches typically hanging under cumulonimbus clouds. Now, they are often associated with anvil clouds and severe thunderstorms. Now, these formations were first described all the way back in 1894, and they may appear as smooth, ragged, lumpy lobes and may be opaque or translucent. But you don't want to see these clouds. That's really a sign of severe weather. Okay. 
Okay, that's all you have to yeah, say. I mean, if you see some abatis clouds, just take take cover. Get it, get indoors. We do see them a lot during <laughs> severe weather season. We did see a few during the spring. I'm so glad to have learned this. <laughs> I'm so glad to have taught you something. Well, I guess since I'm at the desk, coming up in sports tonight, I crown our KLST Player of the Week here in the Concho Valley. More news after the break.